How to buy property with no money down. There are many ways to buy property without using your own money. But in this video, we're going to talk specifically about buying property with no money using funding from angel investors. I'm not just going to share with you how to pitch your project, but I'm also going to introduce you to four angel investors who are ready to fund your next property deal. But before we get started with all of that, if you're new here, my name is Ranjan Bhattacharya. I've been investing in property for the last 30 years and this is my channel and it's dedicated to helping you become a more successful property investor. We publish new videos each and every week. So if you wanna be notified and be kept informed of what's happening, subscribe, hit the bell icon and you'll be the first to know when we upload. Now, Property Elevator is a brand new TV show on Sky Channel 189. It's basically like Dragon's Den, but for property. And yours truly is one of four angel investors on the show. And people come on the show and pitch us their property deals. Now, this show is real serious stuff. The people who come on it are pitching real life property deals and the angels you're pitching to uh, are investing their own funds in your property projects. So what makes a perfect pitch when you're pitching to angel investors for 100% funding for your property deal? Well, I caught up with my three fellow angel investors on the show to ask them precisely that question. They share that, their top tips Stay tuned till the end and I'll give you my sort of five step recipe, if you like, for a successful um, pitch to angel investors. That's all coming up. Track record uh, is not necessarily important. I think if the deal's really good, uh, don't forget we are mentoring them through the process yes, really. Yes. So actually, if the deal's really good and they're going to be sensible on what their share will be. In other words, if they want 50, 60% of the deal, then I'm out straight away. You know, if it's 20%, 15, 20, 25%, uh, then I may well be in. Absolutely. And I guess we're both looking for opportunities where um, we can add value to the proposition over yeah. and beyond just cash. Absolutely. I think that's it. I think, I mean, at the end of the day, we're here to help people mm -hmm. uh, and to make some money for ourselves and for them as well. Yes, yes. And for that, it has to be a, we talk about good deal. Uh, and we all say, you know, we're looking for good deals, but I guess there's got to be enough in it for everyone to have a win-win out of it. Without question. I mean, if there's not 20, 25, 30% net profit in a deal, they're not worth doing. You might as well sit at home or take the dog for a walk. Do you see some people come along with deals which are okay for them to do by themselves, but not quite enough in it for other people to kind of get involved and participate? I see people coming along in the past with deals that they shouldn't be doing at all. Oh, I see. <laughs> because whether whether you're whether it's you're just sh you're you're sharing the money just for yourself or you're sharing it with someone else, if the margins aren't right, you still should not do it. There needs to be a lot more discipline. And what I've found out, you know, during this process is that a lot of people are very happy to just try and make 10%. It's a waste of time. Absolutely. So when, time. when you if see something people, goes wrong, yes. they're making nothing, they're losing money. Absolutely. And they don't want, who wants to do that? But when you see people um, pitch a deal that isn't worth doing, um, how do you play it? Are you a Simon Cowell and tell it as it is? Do you? Well, I'm a bit of both. I think I've got a reputation for being pretty hard-nosed and saying, saying how it is, but I like to think I do it with a smile on my face. Okay. And I guess it's, it's best to know. I mean, you've been in the business for 40, 40 years. 40 years. So that's a years. serious amount. And all the angel investors have got experience. Got experience. Yeah, uh, there's plenty yeah. of experience yeah. in the room. Yeah. And if, if four of them or most of them are saying something and it's all the same message, then that's something to listen to, isn't I it? I think, yeah, I think arrogance is a real problem with some of them in the past, you know. I mean, it's all very well believing in yourself, but you need some, um, you need to, be, you know, you need to take it a bit seriously. If someone says to you, it doesn't work, or four people say it, you know, uh, pride becomes becomes before fall. And just to reiterate to people, I mean, this isn't just TV. Real deals are getting back. Oh here. yeah, this is this is serious stuff. I mean, the the other day there was a deal for I think they're paying 1.3 1.1 million for it and then refurbishing it for 600,000. Yes. That deal is going through at the moment. Yes. This yes. is serious stuff. This isn't. We're not messing around with 50,000 and 100,000. Yes. This is big stuff. So it's good TV and it helps people get their deals it's funded a great as well. Way. It's a great way of, especially for young people who have 
want to get on the property ladder investment or dealing wise this is a great opportunity a great great opportunity and we need more many more pictures uh, the show is a uh, property elevator it's on sky channel 189 uh, I'm going to be vlogging about uh, my, my involvement in the show quite regularly but if you want to apply get involved as I said um, you click on the links below get that form and be on the telly and don't forget it's a competition as well between us oh so yeah I hope I'm gonna beat you yeah exactly I mean yeah no we're, we're nice and friendly now but, but when, when, when we get when, in the room when they go action <laughs> That's we it. Want, we want the deal. <laughs> That's it. So we'll be competing for your deal. We will. Funny, I mean, I'm looking for uh, a property entrepreneur who is extremely detailed. So I'm the sort of angel on the show who is the one that like scrutinizes it. So basically I'm looking at, you know, if they're looking to do a HMO property, I want to know that they have thought about absolutely everything. All the numbers. All the numbers. So I'm a numbers person. I'm a qualified broker. So I've got a finance background. So for me, it's about have they included cleaning, gardening, uh, so many pictures where I see where they've got interest rates wrong. So, you know, they might be quoting 2% when really they're looking at 3.5%, which really <laughs> affects the return. Absolutely. So for me, it's got to be a dynamic dynamic pitch with um, attention to detail is something that I'm absolutely looking for and for people who are watching this and thinking um, you know perhaps they want to apply and get on the program and pitch their next property project what advice would you give them so that they are successful in winning your money so they have to uh, uh, again it's like reading a CV Ranjan so you've got to look for uh, an amazing strap line amazing headline um, for me when all the sort of we, we see the initial pictures uh, pictures mm -hmm. on paper and the ones that are very thought out with the background and the history so a bit like their CV and also um, you know that they've documented everything clearly gone through everything with a fine tooth comb gets my attention and the fact that they've really researched their areas so the areas in the country that they're looking at investing because obviously you know we're from uh, different geographic areas in in the UK and so you know we're in London at the moment we might be looking at investing in Blackpool or wherever but we're not experts there yes, they yeah. are so you know I want to know facts and figures about rental income, house prices, unemployment rates, things like that in those specific areas. That's what I'm looking for. I think in terms of having a successful pitch, confidence is, is absolutely key. Um, knowing your numbers, making sure that you know actually what you're talking about. It's all right bringing a deal to the table yeah. that seems interesting, but if you have one question from one of the angels and, and then you're uh, uh, stuck, then the whole deal is going to fall apart. And, and there's probably thousands of good business deals good property deals that don't get money based on lack of preparation uh, and, and not knowing your, your key facts so that would be the, the biggest advice I can give to anyone pitching today so what is it that um, excites you enough to get your wallet out and uh, put your <laughs> money on the table and back someone uh, I, I like risk so I like a gamble I'd like something I can roll the dice with if something seems too good to be true uh, I'm, I might take a punt on it yeah. okay okay you like the wild card I like then. the wild cards yeah as long as the numbers are there of course so, absolutely I mean listen the deal has to stack up first and foremost but if it's if it rests on a planning application or if it rests on some key change then yeah I'll, I'll take a gamble on that really is it you've got four angel investors uh, all looking to do business if you like and um, the least you'll get is a bit of deal analysis and input from uh, oh, 100%. four people. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't, ordinarily, I wouldn't make myself available for someone to pitch a, a deal and let me give them all the feedback that they require to actually go on and better it, even if they didn't get my money. I'm, I'm, I'm not that accessible, and I'm sure you're not, and I know the other angels aren't as well. So this is going to be a great opportunity for people to sit down and get decades of experience, millions, tens upon millions of pounds worth of deal experience, on something that could be their first, second, or, or even their third deal that they've ever done. And yes. I, if I had that opportunity when I was first getting into the industry, I mean, who knows where I'd be now. And now you probably want to hear my top tips for uh, pitching, uh, for investment. And I'm going to share with you five, five things you've got to get right if you want to impress me on the show. Uh, number one, um, be absolutely clear and concise about what you want, what you want from an investor. So many people don't start with that very first clear message of what they want. Uh, secondly, be very clear and precise 
of what's in it for me. Why do I want to get involved in your project? What's the return that I can uh, expect? Number three, be open and honest. Answer questions truthfully uh, because that all makes you likable and more believable. And remember, none of the angels are going to work with people they don't like and don't strike a rapport with. Number four, your numbers. Remember, it's your deal. No one should know your numbers better than you. So make sure you absolutely have those crystal clear, just, just on the tip of your tongue. And number five, you may have the best plan in the world for your property project, but make sure you've properly thought out a plan B, a plan C, and even a plan D. If you're going to get an investor's backing, they want to know that you've thought of alternative scenarios in case it doesn't go to plan. So those are my five top tips. Um, the show is Property Elevator. It's on Sky Channel 189. Don't worry if you haven't got Sky because we'll be vlogging the show on this YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe. So we'll be putting out all the show uh, plus my take on the pitches, what went well, what, went, what didn't go quite so well and some behind the scenes interviews and chat as well we'll be doing only on our YouTube channel. Number three. Oh, for God's sake. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, hit the bell icon. As soon as we upload, we'll let you know. And enjoy these. They're all dedicated to helping you be more successful in property. Happy investing.